Hi, I'm your host, Caleb Lawrence, and this is the Market Bowl, October 21st, 2020. The major averages couldn't hold their early gains, closing with small losses after the mainstream media realized, again, that our political representatives can't agree on a stimulus package. One of the real debates about the COVID-19 crisis involves the work-from-home trend. Specifically, will it be permanent? I've seen arguments for both and think that it will be decided on a company-by-company -company basis. That said, I do expect it to become far more common and be persistent, just like the owners of mall properties 10 years ago who originally dismissed online shopping as a fad, office property owners are in for a rude awakening as demand is likely to slip substantially because businesses won't be able to resist the substantial cost savings. The Mortgage Bankers Association reports that mortgage activity fell 0.6% last week as refis advanced 0.2% and purchase apps slipped 2.1%. The 30-year contract rate for a jumbo loan increased slightly to a still very low 3.33%. Since the initial COVID-induced volatility, this series has settled into a level considerably higher than a year ago as record low rates drive loan demand. In addition to low rates, the transition away from working at an office to working from home will continue to push demand away from expensive city centers to lower price suburbs. The Fed's latest beige book on regional economic activity showed further recovery after all 12 regions reported increasing activity, a considerable improvement over nine previously. Well, despite the gains, worry and concern remain prominent, particularly with respect to commercial real estate. Growth can be expected to slacken further in the coming months as uncertainty and doubts about the pandemic's path cause households and businesses to spend more cautiously. Additionally, many in the leisure hospitality sector cited concerns about the feasibility of conducting business in the winter months, when outdoors operations will be less attractive to customers, particularly when it comes to dining out. The Standard & Poor's 500 index closed today at 3,435.56, down 7.56, while the Nasdaq finished the day at 11,484.69, down 31.80. Gold ended trading at $1,927.30 an ounce, up $11.90. This is Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor. If you would like to make an appointment, I can be reached directly at 831-334-5318 or through Microsoft Teams video conferencing at caleb at clinvestments.com. You can also find me on social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Advisory services are offered through Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor, Inc. And with that, you're up to date.